Hey, it's Carrie from the Female Entrepreneur Association. Have you ever felt really frustrated because you feel so consumed by the doubts and the negative thinking and the worries that you feel like you're holding yourself back and stopping yourself from achieving the things that you want to achieve and living the life that you want to live? Well, this was my biggest challenge. I used to be so consumed by the doubts and the negative thinking that I was stopping myself from living the life I wanted to live and achieving the things I really wanted to achieve and I had to figure out how to move out of my own way so I could start making progress and achieving those things that I wanted to achieve. So in this video I want to share with you the strategy that I use in order to completely change this myself and this strategy helped me to go from this negative frame of mind and this negative thinking and feeling completely stuck in a rut to a completely different perspective and outlook and actually achieving amazing things and living the life I wanted to live and making masses of progress. This strategy changed everything for me. So the first thing I want to start off by saying is that I feel like every time you set a goal it is followed by obstacles and it's really annoying but it's the reality because if you want to achieve something really big there are always going to be answers that you don't have there are always going to be things that you don't have a clue how to do and there's probably always going to be some element of risk and so right from the start all these obstacles start piling up that you have to somehow figure out how to get over in order to achieve your goals so I often feel that when I set a goal for myself, I get really, really excited. And then once that initial excitement wears off, I feel like I'm standing at the bottom of a mountain, looking up, thinking, how on earth am I gonna do this? And it's at this moment that all these questions start flooding into my mind, which is inevitably followed by doubts. And this is the moment at which I think the negative committee has a little meeting inside of my head. It's when those voices start up inside that say things like, this was a really silly idea, you're never going to make it happen, or you can't do this, or you don't have a clue what you're doing, just stop now. And all these little things that can really stop you and be seriously detrimental. But the thing is, I think everybody reaches this point. I think even the most successful people in the world, when they set goals, they then face obstacles, they then ask themselves questions, followed probably by doubts. They probably do ask themselves, can I actually do this? But the crucial thing is, is the step that you take following this. The next action you take is probably likely to determine whether or not you achieve your goal. So I want to give you an example. So I want you to imagine two people, and for argument's sake, let's say they're from a really similar background, they have a really similar amount of money, and everything else really similar, education, etc, etc. And both of them individually decide that they want to start a business. So they set their goals, and they're faced by obstacles, and the negative thinking starts, and the doubts creep in. So person A, she really struggles with the negative thinking and she starts to let it consume her and she lets it crush her confidence and she slowly starts to think, can I actually do this? And she's focusing more on asking herself, can I do this? Or I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And so, so much so that she's stopping herself from making the progress. Whereas person B, she has these negative thoughts and these feelings but she thinks, it's part of the adventure, like they're always going to be there, you're always going to face challenges and obstacles, but she's going to figure out how she's going to get over them. She completely believes in herself, she is determined to, to reach her goal, and when she thinks something like, I don't have a clue how I'm going to do this, it's followed by thinking, well actually, what can I do to do this right now? What do I need to do right now? What can I do right now? Or if she thinks, I feel like I'm not an expert, that's then immediately followed by thinking, well, what could I do to become more of an expert or to feel like more of an expert? So they've both got a completely different perspective on things. And the thing is, as time goes on, they end up in completely different places. Person A feels stuck in a rut, consumed by this frustration of not really getting far, of feeling the doubts and the worries and having such a bad impact on her life and she's not making the progress that she wants to make. Whereas person B, she's making loads of progress, she's achieving amazing things and she's getting towards her goal. And the thing is, the reason why this is happening is because they've both completely got a different mindset. One of them is in a really negative state of mind and from that negative state of mind she has these beliefs which are 
telling her that she can't really do it. And so the story that she's telling herself in her head is quite a negative one. And then based on that, she's then making decisions. And those decisions aren't good decisions that are getting her very far. Whereas the other person is in a positive frame of mind. She has really great beliefs and believes she's going to make it happen and that she's going to get there. And because of that, she makes decisions based off those beliefs. And then because of that, those decisions are great and they're getting her to where she needs to get to and where she wants to be. So you can see there from that example, the impact that your thoughts have on your life. Like your thoughts create your reality. And I know this because it's happened to me when I was in a really negative frame of mind and thinking negative things and believing negative things, th that became my reality. My life became frustrating, miserable. I, I felt like I was stuck in a rut all the time. But when I changed and I started to think positively and I put myself in a positive frame of mind and I started to get some really good beliefs on board and start believing in myself and believing that I could achieve things, then my whole entire life changed and all of a sudden everything was going really well and I was making loads and loads of progress. But the thing is, is that changing from the negative thoughts and the negative frame of mind to a positive one is really, really hard. It's like giving up a really bad habit like smoking. It's like quitting smoking. It's something that you feel like you're in such a routine of doing it. It's, it's really difficult to let go of it. And the thing is, you have to just be really disciplined in changing your st state of mind. So that is exactly what I had to do. And there's an amazing quote from Anne Bradford and she says, tell the negative committee that meets inside your head to sit down and shut up. And effectively, I had to decide to tell that negative voice to shut up and that I was gonna be in control. And that's the thing, this is the key here, is that when you truly accept that you have the ability to take control of your thoughts, that you're the person that gets to decide whether or not you doubt yourself or whether or not you believe in yourself, when you accept that, you get to choose which one you want to be. Do you want to be the person that doubts themselves or do you want to be the person that believes in themselves and gives themselves a really positive state of mind? That becomes your choice. Because the thing is, we all have the ability to turn off those doubts and that negative thinking and to stop focusing on it. But the question is, are you prepared to do that? Are you prepared to stop focusing on those doubts and those negative thoughts and change and switch to a positive thoughts and positive beliefs that are going to help you to actually manifest what you want to achieve? Are you prepared to discipline yourself to stick at it because like giving up any habit it's really hard and it's not just going to happen overnight you're not just all of a sudden miraculously one day from watching from watching this video for example be able to change your whole um, mindset but over time if you started from today to start making little changes in your mindset so every time you think a negative thought to actually stop pull yourself out of the frame and think, actually, is this helping me? And if not, push it one side and think of something positive that's going to help you to get towards your goal. If you started doing that every day, or if you started waking up in the morning and saying a positive statement to yourself, like, for example, mine, I always say it, is, I can and I will watch me and saying it with feeling if you can start to do these little things every single day then over time you'll start to change and then the negative thinking and the doubts will start to go away and you'll get to that situation where you wake up one day and they're just they're not really there anymore or if they are there you can just shut them off really really quickly because you've learned how to gain control over your thoughts over your beliefs over your state of mind and when you can do that and shift your perspective and your whole thinking then everything else will change and you will start to achieve things so so rapidly the thing is is will you choose to do that and that's up to you no one else can make that happen or make that decision for you only you can so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then please leave me a comment or share it and i will see you next time